When kids are going through this epigenetic shift, we might liken it to the brain not flowering properly. So some of our genes are fixed, our eye color and our hair color, but the majority of our genes are always in a dance with the environment in what we call the gene-environment interaction. We call this technically gene methylation or epigenetic, but that's just a fancy word for the gene-environment interaction. And in the developing brain, genes have to flower. They have to open up just right to do their jobs as nature intended. But in kids facing chronic adversity, you might think of it that some of those petals don't open properly. And when that happens, we have a whole slew of genes that need to function properly to turn on the stress response and turn it off again. But when those genes aren't flowering in an environment with adversity, guess what they can't do? They can't turn the stress response off again. The stress response gets stuck in the on position. These genes change in ways that they are no longer able to regulate the stress response. And that means that chronic, unpredictable, toxic childhood stress resets the stress response on fight, flight, for life.